Hello guys, in this video we'll be talking about the autosomal DNA, so the predicted phenotype traits, and of course the GD match results of a progress in Neolithic man from southern Russia. Now this uh, kind of a culture, this cluster of people is actually ancestral, or at least it is believed to be ancestral to the Yamne Proto-Indo-Europeans. And with phenotype, this is what he's predicted uh, to look like with Maina Shakoto. Maina Shakoto is predicting him to have brown eyes, uh, snub-shaped nose and black hair. Now Ysek also predicts him to have uh, brown eyes and hair. But Ysek is uh, giving him a very interesting skin color. It's giving him kind of an orangish bronze, like light brown skin color. And with Snipper Free, Snipper Free disagrees with this. Snipper Free actually predicts him to have white skin. And I depicted him with white skin because I trust Snipper Free over Ysek any day. Uh, he had BH1, blue eye haplotype 1, but no BH2, no BH3, no BH4, so probably had very dark eyes because BH1 does not, the blue eye haplotype 1 does not really give you blue eyes or, ha or green or hazel eyes. It kind, of, it's, it kind of results in a lighter brown shade instead of a dark brown shade, but it's still brown eyes, right? And with SLC 45A2, he actually had pretty typical European genotype. Um, when it comes to atypical genotypes, he had this atypical uh, genotype in keto G variation that has to do with skin color, so make of that what you want. But uh, basically, if I had to use a modern person to illustrate what this individual looked like, probably what you see on the screen right now is uh, the most similar. And he actually had this very exotic genotype that prevents him from going bald. Now, if you read the info on this genotype, it basically says that if you have this genotype, there is no chance, no chance you are going to lose your hair, which is very interesting. And in DRD2's Pro for 19 Pro variation, he had the European go, no go learner mutation, which is very interesting. Uh, so lower risk of schizophrenia and also had A2A2 in the TAC1 mutation, also DRD2, uh, which is a very typical European and human genotype in general. And he had the warrior with the IO genotype in Compt, uh, which is actually not so typical for Europeans. And the implications of this genotype is that he had a uh, quicker reuptake of dopamine, which means less dopamine in the system, which means problems with attention motivation, however, better stress resiliency. In Act 1, he had this genotype, which basically increases the odds of psychosis when smoking cannabis, which is quite interesting. Uh, he did not have the sociopath gene, so no derived OXTR, very uh, empathetic genotype here in OXTR. And he did not have the European mutation that uh, gives uh, lactose persistence. No lactose persistence mutation was most likely lactose intolerant. And also, he, he actually did have the European mutation that protects against myopia. So, probably did not need glasses for uh, nearsightedness or farsightedness. When it comes to polygenic traits, he had a pretty average risk score for coronary heart disease. He also had a pretty average risk score for type 2 diabetes. He also had a pretty average risk score for Parkinson's disease. Uh, he had a below average risk score for schizophrenia. Uh, he had a below average risk score for type 1 diabetes. Uh, he had an average risk score for bipolar disorder. And he actually had a very high, very high risk score for asthma. This is what he scores with Eurogenes K13. You can see it's a very southern result, more southern, a lot different from what Yamne would score because 42% West Asian and 9% South Asian is not typical for any, even for Yamne, it's not typical. It's too much southern ancestry. And with the Oracle, uh, this person is actually getting modeled as a mixture of Tabasaran, which is a group in Dagestan plus Erzia or Baloch plus Erzia. So clearly a lot, very different from modern Northeast Europeans, right? And here is the official G25 for the sample from Explore Your DNA. Now we see uh, pretty much more of the same, Darginian, Tajik, basically closest to all kinds of Caucasus or West Asian groups. And when you model it as a mixture of modern groups, it's getting modeled as a mixture of Darginian, Kalash, plus a little bit of Latvian. So only a tiny bit of North European uh, admixture relative to uh, Dargins and Kalash. And keep in mind, Latvians actually have a lot of CHG admixture too. So this is a majority CHG, majority Caucasus, majority West Asia result. And this is what he scores with MZLPK11. Now here he's scoring 44% EHG, but that's not actually EHG because on this calculator, the EHG group is meant to represent Caucasus related admixture. So he's majority Caucasus actually. And because he's majority Caucasus, he's getting modeled as a mixture of Yamna, Kalmykia plus uh, Iran Mesolithic or Yamna, Samara plus Iran Mesolithic. So more Iran Mesolithic than Samara, but you might get the impression that it, it is this individual who's mixed between Samara, Yamna, Samara plus something from Iran. But in reality, it is the Samara individuals, it is the Yamne individuals who are mixed between this individual and something from Northeast Europe. And uh, this is what he scores with MDLP K23B. Now here I highlighted the archaic components that Neanderthals and various monkeys score. So he scores a little bit of these components and with the oracle here, uh, he's actually getting modeled as a mixture of Pamiri, Tajik plus Mansi or Hunt, which is, you know, not, not a very good model because look at the distance. The distance is so high, it's not a very representative um, model for him. 
and this is what he scores with Panzianea. Okay, then now here keep in mind that besides the CHG, the other stuff, it's actually not all European hunter gatherer. There's also 12% ASI. There's that ancestral South Indian admixture that he's scoring, and because of this ancestral South Indian with the Oracle, he's actually getting modeled as a mixture of Makrani plus Lithuanian or Brahui plus Lithuanian groups in Pakistan rather than groups of the Caucasus. So uh, aside from the big amount of Caucasus hunter gatherer admixture, he's also scoring some South Indian admixture too on all of the calculators that I'm showing in this video actually. And uh, this is what he scores with Pun DNA LK12. Once again, we see 11% South Asian. It's a lot of South Asian related admixture. And in fact, the Yamnayans have it too. It's not just this individual, it's other individuals too who score South Asian. Um, so with the Oracle here, he's getting modeled as a mixture of Yamnaya plus some kind of Caucasus hunter gather, but this is not what he is. This is really not what he is. What he is, is ancestral to Yamne. It's the Yamneans who are a mixture of this individual plus, or somebody like this individual, plus some kind of an Eastern hunter gatherer source from Northeast Europe, right? So um, it, the Oracle kind of gives you ideas that aren't true. And uh, this is what he scores with Ancient Eurasia K6. Now, the biggest component here is Ancestral North Eurasian, but he's actually only scoring only 27% Natufian, which is very surprising because he's a very southern individual, clearly close to these Caucasus groups, but he has actually got less Natufian than me, and I'm Russian. So uh, this is because the Caucasus hunter-gatherers had less Natufian uh, ancestry than the um, European farmers, much less. So the European farmers are objectively much more southern and much more similar to these Natufians than Caucasus hunter-gatherers were because of the ancient, ancient North Eurasian admixture in Caucasus hunter-gatherers. Finally, this is what he scores with Gidrose K3. Now, what's interesting about this result is he's only scoring 86% West Eurasian. And there's two reasons for this kind of score, right? The first reason is obviously he's an ancient individual, so he does not have a lot of the modern European, modern Caucasus drift, right? Uh, modern ethnicities in the Caucasus, they have as much ancient North Eurasian ad admixture as this person, just as much, but they score 100% West Eurasian. Why? It is because they are modern people and they have modern West Eurasian drift, but this individual is ancient, he doesn't have it. And of course, there is another reason, there is the second reason, and the second reason is that he's got simply ancient North Eurasian admixture, and ancient North Eurasians have admixture from Tian Yuan man or some kind of uh, East Eurasian source, right? Uh, thank you for watching the video until the end. You can actually download this file in 23andMe format from link which is in the description. And leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy what I do here on YouTube.